time for our last pub game now and having played pool, pinball, fruit machines and poker there's only one classic pub game left to play and that's a game of darts 180 quite a cool front cover on this one got a nice logo using the dart board as the zero in the 180 nice cartoon style front cover image of the people playing darts in a pub and the mad logo at the bottom and the spine is the spine and the back cover has got some screenshots as you can see there's a dart board view also a side on view of the guys playing darts a screenshot there of the characters and another dart board view there and uh, rather than the usual blurb it's just got a list of the features of the game so you've got eight opponents digitized speech, two player option etc etc and at the bottom there what more is there in life? Buy it! As you'd expect inside are the instructions but we've also got a signature and the signature is Steve Pickford one of the Pickford brothers who programmed the game uh, this copy of the game was donated to me by, by my friend Gordon Sinclair aka Sir Clive uh, thank you to him for that and he got it signed by Steve Pickford at a retro gaming event in 2006 I believe possibly 2007 anyway that's by the by the instructions have the usual sort of thing you'd expect to see you are now the proud owner of the one and only real darts game around 180 has 8 different opponents waiting to take you on 2 player option etc etc tells you a bit about the usual match play darts first to get 501 etc and some loading instructions inside we've got how you control the game, the throw and so on and a bit more info about the people that you play against and then it's got this very comprehensive list of all the possible checkout combinations as they're known in darts and that's about it really here's the loading screen pretty simplistic stuff uh, but it's got a nice Mad Games logo in the top right there not quite sure what all that's about and uh, down the bottom we've got a copyright 1986 not much more to say about it really this is the title screen then pretty straightforward stuff it's just text as you can see there Mastertronic presents 180 programmed by Andrew Routledge so it looks like Andrew Routledge did the Commodore 64 version based on the original design by the, the Pickford brothers uh, the only other thing to mention is this uh, big scrolly text message which was a very popular feature of games put out by Mastertronic and probably any other Commodore 64 publisher taking advantage of the uh, scrolling available I think so that's pretty much it um, there is a two player game which I'm not going to play obviously because I'm sitting here on my own uh, so you press 1 for a one player game and you get a selection of characters shown on the screen and then eventually it'll tell you your opponent in the quarterfinals is Beer Belly Bill and it's a straightforward game of darts so it's uh, the first to win two sets goes through to the next round and uh, it's 5.01 so uh, let's get on with the game so the game is controlled by the joystick and um, the thing you can't do is just push up and down and left and right to focus basically to try and simulate the difficulty of aiming at a dartboard you can only move in diagonals and the hand just keeps moving around so you can't stop it uh, so that's what makes it more difficult than just like lining up a crosshairs and pointing it straight at the treble 20 every time so with that in mind let's uh, try and get a treble 20 anyway and I did good start and a 20 and another 20 so 100 not a bad start and uh, when your opponent plays you get this little animation as you can see he's got a big beer belly and he's uh, shooting it says at the top there what he's hitting and what his score is so he got um, 55 45 in fact which was garbage uh, so I shall continue on quite nice, gra nice graphics of the uh, dartboard the hands quite well animated in particular ooh I'm on for a treble 20 here will I do it no, ah, oh, got you. So 
So pretty nice graphics on this section as well. As you can see there's a bar in the background and a jukebox. Typical setting for a game of darts. Once you get used to the controls, to be honest, it's pretty easy and it all just depends on the skill of your opponent as to how well you're going to do in the game. So at the moment I'm well ahead and Beer Belly Bill is uh, just doing particularly badly it seems. So let's carry on. There's another 60. And another which gets me down to 41. There's no double that can get me a 41 so let's just go for the 20. Okay, so that leaves me with 21 points. So I should be able to polish this off fairly easily. So as you know, or maybe you don't know, but uh, you have to finish a game of darts with a double. Uh, so I will go for a 1 first of all, which leaves me 20, which is double 10, which is down here. Mm. Got it. And when you win the set, you get this nice scrolly message saying great on it. Pretty cool music as well, not sure who's done the music on this one. And you go to round 2, as you can see I'm 1-0 up. So. If I win this next set, then I will be through to the semi-finals. So I'm still playing the second set, and as you can see, uh, Beer Belly Bill's got his act together, and he's only on, he's on 75, and I'm only on 241. So I've got a bit of catching up to do here, to say to, to say the least. Hit a lot of twenties, but no trebles really so far. Well, a couple of them. Ah, oh, there's one. So I've still got a chance, but I think he'll probably win this set now. So he's now down to where he's up playing for doubles. So I need to try and do the same now. I need to do a bit of cunning maths to try and work out what I can get this down to. Three seventeens would be a good place to start. There we go. So that gets me down to ninety. Now I need a treble twenty. Ooh, it's on. That gets me down to thirty. I need a double fifteen to win. Oh, got it. Nice. So that gets me through to the semi-final. Once again the list of players comes up with their little caricatures and I'm playing Devious Dave in the semi-finals. Hey, there we go. Hopefully you can hear that. A little bit of speech there, which I unfortunately spoke over, where it says 180. Uh, as you can see, Devious Dave looks a lot like Beer Belly Bill, but with a different head, basically. Kind of spoilt the uh, 180 there, so let's see if I can get it again. Kind of got my eye in now. Nope, hit the 20 this time. So there's not much more to say about the game. It's quite good fun actually. Um, you know, the thing about sports games on computers and consoles is they're only really any fun if they if they allow you to be better at the sport than you would be in real life. And in this case, um, this does allow that. So yeah, pr pretty good all all told. Um, I don't know what I'm checking out with here now. I've got 17. Quick bit of maths. That's 64. So let's just go with a double a treble 20 and that should be a double 2 if I've got my maths right. Will it or will it be? No it won't. A double 7 down the bottom here. I'm not sure if I've got the maths right. Oh bust, it was double 2. Do the maths on the fly whilst talking and trying to control a, a dartboard throwing thing is a bit tricky. And uh, thanks to that I've now lost the first round. I will see how I get on on the second.
another 180 got there and hopefully you heard that a bit better this time. So towards the end of the second set I've got 90 so I need a treble 20 and a double 15. Let's give it a go. Oh no, treble 3, treble 1 sorry, making 3 points which is a disaster. So I now need something like... Oh, I've got no idea. Let's just let's just hit something randomly and see where we go. Probably blown this again now. So that is 21 off 90 is 69. Well, there's nothing I can get that gets me that. So let's just go for the treble 20. I've got nine points left, so it's all going to come down to how Dave does on this round here now. He's got a 60 got an 8, oh and he's hit the 20 so I'm in with a chance here, ok nice and simple, 1, double 4 required, oh double 2 required, no, blown it, and he's got it, and he won, he's won now, so I got a rating there of well mean at the end there. So and that's pretty much it. I'm not going to play through again. You get the idea. It's quite nicely presented. Uh, control's quite interesting. Um, overall, it's quite a good game. I'm not sure I'd pay $2.99 for it or would have done back in the day. Uh, but it's definitely a decent dart simulation and a reasonable way to end our pub games series. No doubt that that is a, the most popular of all the pub games, probably darts nice pub background on the graphics as well so all in all a pretty good uh, series couple of crap games couple of decent games and one that was pretty average if you only knew the power of the dark side two one zero